my channel. Um, uh, right, so um, we've been having a couple of classes with some people uh, who are interested in learning how to code. And of course, there are, there are different levels of coding, right? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, let's get to the point. So, um, this is one of the projects that uh, you know we're working on in the class, right? So, if you want to join uh, the class, feel free to message me. So, let me just show you guys. Let me show you guys what what has been done so far. So, click get started, um, and then the, the login page. It needs to be worked on the more, but for now, let's, let's just move on. The authentication part of the app hasn't been done yet, so we'll just move on. Uh, yeah, let me explain what just happened. Why we saw a red uh, arrow board before this page loaded. That's, uh, okay, I'll explain that in the class, right? So if you're part of our students. Right, so our, this is a dashboard, right? Uh, this dash this amount here on the dashboard is not called live right it's not from any wallet it's hard coded um hold on and of course these uh these are not working right now but then this price is fetched uh real time from uh it's, 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 you notice the price just changed it's fetched real time from uh coin gecko right and of course these uh the code to this application right is available on github right so you can uh get the code on github but let me explain one or two things in case you get it from github now um the 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 refresh rate or should i say um the the price of the coins here ethereum and bitcoin is set to refresh every five seconds um that means if the price doesn't change in five seconds so notice the price was changed that means within five seconds or within several five seconds the price hasn't changed that's that what it means notice it just changed again i think the timer to fix that is uh it's around here so it's changed to five seconds so you can change it to wherever you want um yep so the same thing for ethereum right so the price you know fetches the new price every five seconds but like I said, if you get a code from, from GitHub and it's not changing, just be, uh, just chill because maybe the price hasn't changed within five seconds, right? If it changes, you'll see the, the, the updates here as well, right? So the, the price, uh, this is not the price, uh, this is gonna be worked on um, soon. And then we have uh, the portfolio section. The portfolio section, what we have is just uh, the raw, um, uh, everything here is hard coded, right? So on the, on the app, right? So we're going to be fetching this from the wallet straight up, uh, and uh, this the the price here for Bitcoin is not real time. It's going to be done. I will do that right after this video call. I'll just call the price here. The price change has not been done as well, so that's that's going to be done soon, right? To work on that soon. And of course, this is the uh, the credit card session will be done soon all right so this the first part can only take numbers right and then uh the expiry date and then cvv uh and then the card holder's name summer joseph and you can validate but i've not uh I've not uh, done the validation yet right so we can change you can see the cvv at any time all right, guys. So the code is available on GitHub in case you want to, um, you would like to uh, continue from where I stopped or learn it one or two. But if you want to join our class, feel free to uh, send us a message as well. And someone asked, "Sam, I see trading." Yes, I see trade every single day. All right. So, um, yep, that's all we have for you today. Uh, let us know your thoughts.